And what I'm about to give you will challenge your perception of connectivity. <laughs> we bring up the subject next and finally about soul sharing. You're not going to like this, dear ones, because it breaks the paradigm of your traditional thought. We'll start easy. We'll start simple, and then we'll get hard. Soul sharing. Have you heard of a walk-in? All right. Let's talk about what it is, what you think it is, what you're taught it is, the problems of logic and singularity that exist. Here is what you're often told. A human being will pass and come back. But in order to come back quickly and move over the growing up period in order to accomplish things quicker, they will soul share at approximately the age of 8 to 13 with another soul that is grown up already. That's the walk-in. And so now you have two souls, supposedly, in one body. Follow me so far. So now the walk-in has an attribute that you have to ask about, and many have. All right, what happens to the first soul? Does it take a subservient position? If the name is Sally and the second soul comes in, and that was Henry, it's confusing. What does Henry think about it, being in another gender with Sally? Can they exist together? Does one take a back seat? Does one go forward? Does one simply give up and go back? <laughs> what is the process of this? And human beings that are esoteric wring their hands and have discussions and say, how can this be? And what do we make of it? And we sit by and we look at it and we go, what are you talking about? You have a 3D argument going on, and all of the machinations of your logic puzzles have been created by you. Because Henry and Sally are just fine with it all. You see, what you don't know, and what you haven't figured out, there aren't two souls in that body. There's just one called God. The Henry and the Sally, ah, uh, that's what you made of it. One soul joining another and soul sharing is like God with God. It's you with you. You just got bigger. There will be arguments. Well, what attributes of the Akash belong to Sally? And what attributes of the Akash belong to Henry? What if I told you they combined them? What if I told you things just got bigger with the walk-in? Would that be all right? What if I told you the whole purpose of the walk-in is combined Akash? So that the experiences of many lifetimes, apart from what you think is singular in your past lives, can combine into another human being as one. Now that's confusing. You see, it's bigger than you think. There are no puzzles to figure out with the majesty of God. A walk-in... It's very common, especially with an old soul passing and coming back quickly into one who has already grown. It is a system of benevolence, of understanding, a fast-tracking system that allows things to happen better than they would have otherwise and taking less time. And by the way, it's often in a family. Hmm. Now, this is going to get worse if you're confused already. 